quantum small cap fund nfo will this nfo add more risk to your portfolio or will it add more return to your portfolio can we do a detailed review this nfo is open till 27th october 2023 before going into the review and analysis part we need to understand what is a small cap fund first of all what is small cap top 100 companies based on market capitalization is large cap 101 to 250 is mid cap 251 to 500 is small cap so a small cap fund is a equity fund which is going to invest in stocks of small sized companies which will have approximate market cap below rupees 9000 crores these funds may have better return potential compared to large and mid cap at the same time they will have more volatility compared to large and mid cap so higher risk and higher return potential what are the salient features of this particular fund the fund manager of this particular quantum small cap fund is chirag mehta and the benchmark index is S&P BSE 250 Small Cap Total Return Index. Minimum amount for application is just rupees 500 only. This fund comes under equity fund category and focusing only on small cap. 80% of the money needs to be invested only in small cap stocks. That is between this 251 to 500 stocks. Balance 20% can be invested based on the fund manager's outlook. Exit load for this fund is after one year there is no exit load. Before in one year there is an exit load. there is no entry load for this particular fund investment objective of this fund is to generate long term capital appreciation by investing predominantly in equities of small cap segment we have seen the basic structure of this particular scheme now is time to understand analyze the potential merits of this fund this fund has got broad sector diversification there is no limit for this particular fund to invest in any sector they can invest in n number of sectors which are there in small cap segment so this fund is not going to limit your investments only in few sectors they will be investing in as many sectors as possible to have broad diversification so broad sector diversification opportunity is available the concentration risk for this fund will be very low compared to large cap and mid cap small cap stocks are less covered by analysts and media so a small cap fund manager can actively select good small cap stocks and generate higher alpha there are many undervalued small cap stocks where the value is yet to be unlocked so the fund manager can identify the potential of small cap stocks before no one identifies it even before analysts and media uncovers them so that way the fund manager has got the potential to generate a higher alpha here this fund has got a relatively higher risk adjusted return higher risk higher return potential is there this fund can provide higher returns over long term being an equity fund you should have a time frame of 5 to 7 years minimum compared to a micro cap fund this fund has got lesser investment risk compared to large cap and mid cap this quantum small cap fund has got more growth opportunities as we have seen what are all the advantages of this particular fund we need to understand what are all the potential demerits being an investor you have to pay close attention to risk as well we should not just carried away by returns we should also focus on risk potential being a small cap fund it is an aggressive fund this fund is not suitable for conservative investors obviously and also if you are a beginner investor this fund may not be suitable to you because beginner investors generally prefer to invest in large cap as well as flexi cap and not in small cap where the risk is more being an equity fund obviously this fund is not suitable for any short term investments because in the short term market will be volatile and it has got potential to deliver negative return also in the short run so if you have only short term money please avoid investing in this fund being an nfo this fund is not at all having any portfolio because there is no portfolio we are not knowing where this fund will invest what kind of sector allocation this fund will have what, what kind of stock selection this fund will have we are not knowing about it so it is better to see the portfolio analyze the risk and go for it because there is no portfolio here we will not be able to do any analysis also this fund is an nfo so there is no track record if there is an existing small cap fund we will have a track record how the fund has performed in the last 3 months last one year last two years during pandemic crisis how this fund has recovered we can track everything we will be able to understand what's the style of the fund manager and then we can invest here there is no track record there is no track record and there is no portfolio so we are 
not able to take any calculated risk a smart investor should take only calculated risk he or she should not take blind risk investing in quantum small cap nfo without any track record and without any portfolio is like taking a blind risk and during bear market and economic crisis this fund can be more volatile compared to large cap and mid cap because a small cap fund has got a higher volatility quotient so far we have analyzed what are all the potential merits and potential demerits of this fund we have come to the end of this particular review what's the final takeaway can i invest this can i invest in this fund or should i avoid this fund it depends upon you as an investor if you are looking for supplementary holding for your portfolio means you are looking for allocation in your satellite portfolio then nfo or small cap can be considered but in your core portfolio do you have to give allocation to your nfo is something you have to decide this fund is suitable only if you have 7 years or more time frame if you have less than 7 years please uh, avoid this fund if you have a 7 to 10 year time horizon and if you want to invest in small cap fund means an aggressive fund is there any specific reason why you want to consider an nfo whereas you have alternatives small cap funds existing in the market with 7 to 10 year track record is there any specific reason you want to go for this nfo any justifiable logic reason to go for an nfo because without proper portfolio and track record you will not be able to do any research on this fund without any research and analysis investing in any fund is riskier before investing in these kind of schemes it is better to consult your financial planner if you want to book complimentary consultation with us there is a link given below this video in the description you can schedule a call with a certified financial planner why we are asking you to consult a financial planner before selecting these kind of investment schemes because your financial planner will check what is the investment objective of this fund and what is your financial goal the both has to match what is the risk quotient of this fund and what is the risk profile of you as an investor both has to match and what is the overlap ratio as an investor you already have set of mutual funds you may have set of stock portfolio by adding this new fund what kind of overlap you are going to bring in the overlap should be less overlap should not be more this a financial planner will be able to suggest also how much allocation to be given to any new investment you are making in your portfolio based on the existing set of allocation you have got so as an investor you have to decide all these things with the help of a professional mutual fund distributor or a financial planner so please consult a financial planner before taking any investment decision like this i'll again meet you in yet another useful video bye if you have any questions related to this or any other investment options or related to your financial goals feel free to book a free appointment with our financial planner the link to the free booking is given in the description below this video also will you be interested to attend insightful investment webinar then feel free to register for our upcoming insightful enlightening investment webinar and it is completely free the registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the description box if you like this video please give a thumbs up also share it in your social circle if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel so far please subscribe now Bye.